Hello. So you're Andy Bray and you are at the University of Leeds in the UK. Yes, that's me. Good, I've got the right one. <laughs> Can you quickly describe your career, uh, career path so far? Okay, um, I studied my undergraduate degree in Cardiff, mm -hmm. um, where I studied environmental geoscience. And then after that I moved to Leeds to study a master's in geochemistry. Okay. And that's where I got my PhD position. Um, which I've just recently finished, so I finished that um, earlier this year. Congratulations. And I'm now, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm now um, working on my first postdoc. Okay. Also at the University of Leeds. All right. So how did you find your current position, actually? Um, well, it's, I kind of fell into it, which was quite nice. Um, it was a, a position that was held by someone else who was already in the group, mm -hmm. who left to get a permanent job, and so there was a year left of money, Oh, good. And so I applied for the job and got it, which was really, it was really quite convenient. Yes, indeed. And what is your main research area? So I'm really interested in what happens where life meets rock. Um, and so that has kind of broad research themes because I'm interested in how nutrients cycle in the environment, uh -huh. both at the micron scale and smaller atomic scale, but also how they how life rock interactions contribute to global cycling of nutrients and, and the way that the, the earth works essentially. Okay, okay. So how did you become interested in geochemistry in the first place? What happened there? I don't really know. I, was, I, I, I think, I, yeah, I'm going to have to say that it's because of my dad. Because he, yeah. um, he has, I, he's, he's got more letters after his name than you can fit on one line of paper. Okay. Which was one of his greatest um, ambitions, um, but he's he studied. A, well, he will say that it's because of him that I'm doing geochemistry because I'm following oh. in his footsteps. Okay. He did a master's in soil science and and oh, has done a right. PhD in chemistry, and so obviously, oh. like father, like son, I'm just following suit. But no, it was it's. I've always been fascinated by the natural environment, and um, Dad was a big outdoorsy kind of guy, um, or still is, or used to be. He likes to think he is still. Um, but we would be um, always holidaying in an area of the UK called the Lake District or mm -hmm. in North Wales where you have these beautifully crafted landscapes by glaciers and rivers that are, have, have formed some beautiful landforms and he would point out different aspects of the landscape and, and I remember a holiday when we were eight or something where we went fun, uh, hunting for fossils, like plagi not, not fossils, sorry, minerals, okay. plagioclase and, and, other, um, and other minerals in in essentially a, um, a mud deposit All right. on the Wirral. But, um, um, so yeah, so I've always been really interested in the natural environment and I studied geology at school uh -huh. and I had a really good teacher who, was, who really was able to, um, well he was really enthusiastic about it and enthusiasm is infectious. So um, I fell in love with geology because it was taught so well to me. Oh. And then I've always just been interested in understanding how processes work. So. And I, I learned about the physical processes involved in geology, but then I started to be interested in the chemical processes that are involved in geology as well, leading me to the geochemistry. Mm -hmm. And then I realised that life plays a big role, or I, mm -hmm. I was told life plays a big role, and I'm learning that more and more, so I got interested in the biology. Okay. So I just need to do some physical stuff now, and then yeah. I've got like all four of the disciplines nailed, really. Yes, <laughs> that's good. So actually, what is your next step? Where, where do you think you'll be in five years from now? You want like geographical location or? Well, more <laughs> what do you think you'll be doing? So I, 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 I want to continue researching and so I, I think in five years, career-wise, hmm. I want to have my own grant and my own, be setting up my own group. Okay. Um, conducting research in life rock interactions um at different scales mm. and um in different environments as well okay i'm really fascinated by um like primary mineral weathering and and that kind of stuff and and the extraction of the nutrients from the rock rather yep. than cycling of secondary nutrients in the All right. um, in the soils but yeah i think i think yeah in a nice place near some mountains <laughs> yes. um near the sea would also be preferable um yeah, doing some cool research. Okay, cool. As a last question, would you have any advice for new geochemistry students? Yeah, um, the advice would probably be to read lots, um, talk to lots of people. Don't be um, don't be scared about meeting new people who aren't doing the same kind of geochemistry as you, because geochemistry is geochemistry. Yes. Um, and you just apply it in different, and you you apply the same things just to different situations and. 
Um, yeah, just just if you read and learn about the Earth because it's it's fascinating and there's always something there that you can you can exploit in terms of a, a research idea. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. you.